Documentary shows that New Haven could have been one of the first spots to be home to a historically black college or university. What could have been tells the story of New Haven in 1831 when a group of freed black people and white abolitionists made plans to establish a black college in the city. But those plans came to a halt when the mayor and hundreds of city residents showed strong opposition. The documents left behind nearly 200 years ago helped put the pieces together of what happened that one summer in the Elm City. To some people, 1831 may seem forever ago. But when you walk in downtown New Haven, you are passing all the time buildings that were there when this happened, buildings that are actually connected to this story. There will be a showing of what could have been at the New Haven Museum on Wednesday, February 22nd at 6 p.m. To hear more from those who made the documentary, you can go to fox61.com.